Good afternoon, 47. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Dave Reddy, our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. You Greetings, must sir. be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay. So like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. Uh, but, uh, you can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. I'll work something out. Good. I'll wait. The ICA has struck you here. Don't take too long. They're expecting us upstairs in the conference. Attempt to overthrow the country's democratically elected <laughs> anything from anybody else. Over. this where'd you find that da, 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 never mind i don't want to know let's go Faber's already expecting us up there can't wait to meet him this guy I suggest with me. you put that away so this deal is closed when we enter the room all right i get you in that's all your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Morenos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know, buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid! The Moreno cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. That advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Well, the more security, the better. I mean. Ah, there you are. I expected something different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. 
I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisition Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, keep all troublemakers uh, out of here, huh? I see. But before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Would you take a bullet for Sierra? Nah, never mind. I've an extensive briefing to help us think up on the subject that needs to be, uh, consulted with. I think it's the right Good. <laughs> Six months, Zukov has been dishing out delicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. He did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of crime dead industry. They're completely ridiculous. Actually. The rumors are putting a hard oh, stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Zukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary. I prefer public. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. Right. I think it's time for a smoke. I'll be back in a bit. Hello, sir. Look at the shark. Hi, it's me. I've got the new one. Lined up. You've reviewed the plans. It's very public because the target is public. I want a big audience for this one. With higher extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show. Add cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering, and that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicate it, all right? Once Sukov's gone up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the assassin, get him in the elevator, and he'll take his shot once upstairs. And that's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end today. I'll talk to you later. For enough security. side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagram. So that explains the untraditional nature of the work. I like things to be custom. You could say that spectacle What's part the of hell my signature. Is that? Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. I need it to be an exact replica of Sukov's favorite fountain pen. And it has to. supposed to do with this thing? Stab the man. We had some difficulty accommodating the, the, the exact design requirements. <laughs> oh, no, the, the pen's actually woven from the, the finest boron nitrate nanotube with a tensile strength surpassing 36,000 megapascals. I'm sure that will impress your engineering friends, but that hardly makes it explosive. 
I specifically requested an explosive pen capable of vaporizing the upper part of it. television, is there? No, I sir. is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. So, this is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chili. Can't really see it replacing humans for a long time, but... Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. Goes well, sir. 